All right, this is a uniform motion problem for which it's helpful to create a distance rate and timetable for each moving body, the canoe and the motorboat. The first thing we're going to do is fill in this table with the information that we know exactly. Um, the motorboat moves 12 miles per hour faster than the canoe. This is what I'm looking at right now. That tells me that if the canoe goes x miles per hour, then the motorboat goes x plus 12 miles per hour because the rate is 12 greater than the rate of the canoe. Um, next, we look at the statement that the two boats pass after 2.5 hours. This tells us that both boats are moving for a full 2.5 hours since they both start at the same time and they pass after that 2.5 hours. So in this particular problem it does make sense to use this value 2.5 for the time for both entries. Finally we need to figure out how to fill in our distance column. We are given a distance of 70 miles but in this case each boat does not travel 70 miles. Instead we have a canoe starting point and a motorboat starting point. They're traveling towards each other. And if you add their distances together, it makes sense that you would get 70 miles. They're going to meet somewhere in between that's not actually in the middle. like maybe here, because the motorboat's going a little bit faster, so we know that the motorboat will cover more ground. We know not to split this exactly in two. We also know they don't go exactly 70 miles each. So what we're going to do instead is fill in our distance column using the relationship distance equals rate times time, which means I'm going to take the entry for rate of x and the entry for time of 2.5 and multiply those together to get an expression for my distance. In this case, it's 2.5 times x plus 12, and I do need to make sure to put that x plus 12 in parentheses so that the 2.5 gets multiplied by the entire x plus 12. Now, like I was saying here, we add the distances together to get the full 70 miles that they start out apart, and that tells us how to get our equation. 2.5x is the distance the canoe travels, plus 2.5 times x plus 12 is the distance that the motorboat travels and if we add these together we should get the total distance of 70 miles. So all we have left to do now is to solve this linear equation. First I need to distribute into the parentheses Now I'm going to subtract the 30 to move it over to the right. And in the same step, I'll go ahead and combine the two 2.5x terms to get 5x. On the right-hand side of the equation, I have 40, so this is turning into a very simple equation now. And I end up with x equals 8. Remember that in a word problem, we're generally not done when we find our value of x. If we go back up to the question now, we're going to focus on the question and what it is we actually want to answer. How fast does each boat move? That tells us that we want to know not only how fast the canoe moves, which is what we found. We found that x is equal to 8, but also how fast the motorboat moves, and we find that by plugging 8 in for x, we add that to 12, and we get that the motorboat goes 20 miles per hour. So our final step is to write our answer in a very readable form, and I will go ahead and type it. The canoe goes 8 miles per hour, and the motorboat goes 20 miles per hour in this case. So this would be my final answer, and I will go ahead and box it.